Chewy noises. What's going on, guys? So today on this Shoki Reviews, we're going to take a look at another Marvel Legends series, Deadpool. But this one is the Back in Black version. So this is kind of as he gets back the Venom symbiote, which is had apparently a couple times over the decades. Sorry, drop that. And of course, he's back in this white and black version. He's got several different new hands. Totally new head sculpt. A couple different energy swords, I guess. I don't know what's going on there. But I picked this guy up at Target. It might be a Target exclusive. Might be. And of course, Hasbro logo down there. Nothing else going on. Black and white Deadpool logo up here. And come to the back. Shoot. And you got a great image here with tendrils and hands and stuff coming off of that. You got increased aggression, boosted strength. Nah, he's in it for the slimming black suit. That's probably true. And yeah, so you got all the cool stuff here. Hasbro, Marvel, Target, whatever. It doesn't say Target. I was thinking Target. Just Deadpool. That's it. And like I said, I believe over the years he's had the Venom symbiote a couple times, depending on the story and stuff like that. So... Yeah, this should be a very interesting one, and uh, sort of a lead-in for the set of reviews we're going to be looking at next. So, yay! Let's get this guy open and see how slimming that black suit really is. Alright, guys. Well, <laughs> one of the hardest things to actually shoot with some of this current setup is something that is stark black and white. But, <laughs> I had to adjust that a little bit, but it looks pretty cool. I really do dig this figure. Uh, Sculpt-wise, I think he's... Probably identical to the normal Deadpool. You know, like I said, sculpt wise, obviously the paint is going to be a little bit different, included this new, uh, the new section here. And of course, it's kind of inverted where the black would normally be this section and red would be elsewhere. So, of course, Venom usually does have that effect on people, including adding the white circles around here. But because, of course, uh, the relationship that Deadpool has with Spider-Man along with the same thing that uh, Venom has with Spider-Man. So it does have a little bit of something different, including a new Venom pool kind of emblem here on the thing. Actually, it looks like a belt tied to everything together. He's pretty cool. But the body has the same kind of articulation, stuff like that. So head can go up and down on a swivel joint, ball joint up here. Same thing for normal universal Shoulders, rotate all around, biceps, all the things. Now, what's funny is this part is actually a white part painted black. Probably similar to some of these parts, but down here you've got a black part with white paint over it. Though, when they do this, I really wish they would, you know, try to match it, because those two whites aren't exactly the same. <laughs> it's kind of ugly, if I'm honest. But, you know, I'm getting away from the fact that, like, these ones with heavy black tend to look really wonky sometimes, which is also funny considering what we're going to be looking at soon. But, you know, there he is just mold wise. Now it does come with a buttload of accessories, least of which being this new Venom Pool style head. So, definitely when the Venom symbiote is taking over. You've got a nice toothy grin. It's not really painted that well, if we're honest, but it gets the point across. And, of course, you can just yoink the head off. It is just on a ball joint. All right. You see, you can take the old one off pretty easy. Putting the new one on, that's a little more difficult sometimes. Wow, that doesn't want to go on. I think that is about as good as that's going to get. I don't know what's going on there. because plastic shaving coming off. Must have just been real tight. That's a cool looking head, if we're honest. Just got to make sure that's not as stiff. I dig it. I don't know. It just, it, the curve, with that head, it looks a little bit better. Because I guess the large white spots throw it off for me a little. Um, but he does have a ton of other stuff here. Of course, here he just has his normal sword holding hands which are perfectly good for holding these, what I assume are energy swords, just because that's how they look. They're laser swords. I don't know. But at least this one came with both. I double-checked. 
And they're actually the exact same mold as the previous uh, Deadpool that we looked at, the X-Force Deadpool. So they're the same mold. They've got the same curvature. They've got the same molded handles. But he actually comes with sword-holding hands. So that's impressive. Not going to lie. And that's that's pretty... That's pretty aggressive there. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, on top of those hands, he does have a new web shooting hand, or an I love you hand. More than likely, it's a web shooting hand, because, once again, Spider-Man. I don't know if gaining the Venom symbiote after Peter Parker affords him web slinging, but I assume it does. Because Ven Venom gained that, so I have to assume that Deadpool gains it, just at least temporarily. He doesn't always get to keep the Venom symbiote, and depending on the universe, you know. Seriously, we need some uh, Venomverse figures. But I like that, it's cool, it's a cool option. And you also get some monstery Venom claw hands that I'm sure we'll probably see at another point in time, if I had to guess. And yeah, pulling these hands off does get a little nerve-wracking sometimes, but... You know, if he's if he's really giving in to the symbiote or the symbiote's really taking over, you can get these big old monster hands. Which totally makes sense. And he's just like <laughs> an actual open mouth would have been cool. But hey, that's pretty impressive in and of itself. Because you got these big clawed symbiote fingers. Probably need a little trimming on some of them, looks like got some really thick mold. But that is really cool. But the PC resistance is the tendrils that can go on the back. Now, ever since we first got some of these Deadpools, there have been a big hole on his back, like so. And these things can totally go on there. Uh, I don't believe there's a strict up and down, so it's just kind of a uh, whatever works. So we can do it this way. And we'll have a couple of them just chilling out down here, stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Or if you want to rotate it. I don't remember which way it was in the box, to be totally honest. So you can do it that way. Or, of course, you can rotate it the other way. Actually, that might be exactly the same way I had it. No, that's that. Okay. So you put the uh, narrower ones up top. It gives you a certain look. They aren't really posable to any real degree, but you can move them around. And on the box, you can see that he does kind of hold the swords with it. Let's see, let me test it. I'm gonna go. This one looks like it holds a sword, if I'm honest, but let's see. Let's see if it do. Eh, roughly. It can roughly hold a sword. Maybe this one. Nope, not really. That one, that one's just kind of sort of there. I don't know. Well, it looked like it could. Maybe I'll double check the packaging. Okay, so if we look at the packaging, yeah, I've got it. I've got it the same way, I believe. Yeah. I mean, if these have, if they had wires and stuff in them, and you actually move them around, it'd probably be really, really awesome. Um. Yeah, it's kind. Of, it was showing it in this hand. Maybe if you rotate. Okay, yeah. If you rotate it and give it a little more, you know, a little more to hold on to, you could totally do it that way. But I like it. This one's pretty cool. And yeah, from what I can tell, if you can do it, you should be able to apply this to any other Deadpool that we've looked at. Getting his uh, backpack off. Okay, so that one doesn't have the hole in the back. Maybe it's just the... Okay, if the X-Force one has the hole in the back. So we can actually toss this on him. There we go. So you can have the X-Force Deadpool slinging it too. Okay, so this is the body that he's actually the same as. Except the head sculpt is the normal one. I don't know, weird. So you can play around with it. Do whatever it is you want. Ah, right, there we go. Got him in decent pose so let's bring out the other Deadpools for comparison and so they can be jealous 
So there's X-Force Pool. Which I guess, really, you could probably fit a gun in some of these hands, too. And here we got Red Pool, so to speak. That's a pretty good looking set, if I do say so myself. Now, there are older versions of Deadpool, and in fact, there is an entirely new Deadpool wave that is out. It hasn't really hit my area, so to speak. But some of them might be worth getting. I don't know about all of them. And somebody who definitely is so tired of these guys. We've got Cable. That's all he needs. He's just going to come in here with a gun, take down this Venom pool as he can. But guys, this is a pretty cool one. I like it. It does have some issues with uh, paint and stuff like that, but anytime you do a black and white figure, you're going to have that problem. I uh, wish the backpack had some posability. The tendrils had a little bit more posability, but at least it's got some fun options. And let's see. Let's let's try to give him. Let's try to give him a gun here. Oh, yeah. You can totally hold a gun. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. Yeah, I like it. And, of course, like I said, I believe it's a Target exclusive. I don't think I've seen it anywhere else. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Might have seen it at GameStop. I'm not sure. But uh, definitely pick it up if you're a Deadpool fan. It's very cool. And if you're a Venom fan, I think it's worth it. And it's, of course, no more than anything else. Oh, now I see what's wrong with one finger. It's just really bent out of shape. I knew something looked wrong. Yep. But guys, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you dig this figure, if you dig all the web the web pool, <laughs> Deadpool figures, and storylines. I'm going to go ahead and swap his head back out. Also, if you want to check out the Patreon, go ahead and do that by all means. Every little bit can help, um, even as for $5 a month. I have been trying to get up to about $200 so that I don't have to rely entirely on YouTube money with this second channel. Trying to get off the ground every little bit will absolutely help. Oh, it looks pretty good, too. And then, of course, you can definitely grab a Shoki shirt as well, because that is another way not only to help support the channel, but to show that you really are part of the Shoki Nation. He's going to just be shooting over there. Because Spider-Man just wants to be like... Or, I'm sorry, Deadpool just wants to be like Spider-Man. But yeah, guys, I'll catch you on the next review. And remember, as always, keep on pooling. <laughs>